Hey guys. Could be cutting up, keeping it real. Listen, I saw this online somewhere. Looked good. Thought I would try it and take sugar out of it. So this is a, just a pineapple fluff. If you are anything like me and have a sweet tooth and have to have something sweet, this is maybe a good alternative to ice cream or something real heavy with a lot of calories. I'm going to use one 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple with the juice, one package of sugar-free vanilla pudding, and one eight ounce container of sugar-free Cool Whip. I'm going to stir that together, chill it down, and put it in the fridge, and that'll be my sweet treat this week for myself. They'd be cute like in a little um, in a little mason jar too. Maybe with just a few little sprinkles of uh, graham cracker crumbs, I'll probably do that when I eat it. Just put a few sprinkles over the top. Or maybe a vanilla wafer at the bottom of it. Be good too. Anyway, sugar-free, everything that I could get sugar-free, okay? And that is a one ounce package. I'm gonna just stir that together with the juice and the can of pineapple. And then I'm gonna fold in this whole thing of Cool Whip. Uh-oh, I think this thing might be a little frozen. I may cover this up and wait and uh, after I ate supper, I uh, folded in. But anyway, I'll show a picture of it at the beginning of the video, and I'll make a comment on it. It sounds delicious and nutritious and not so fattening. So that's how I'm gonna do a sugar-free rendition of pineapple fluff. Tonight for my dinner, I am browning or baking a spaghetti squash, and I've got spaghetti sauce on the, on the um, stove top. And I'm gonna use spaghetti squash for my noodles and make the guys some regular pasta. But anyway, that looked good to me. I think mandarin oranges would be good in this. Or any kind of canned fruit that you love. Maybe some strawberries, you know, being strawberry season. But that is what I'm doing. And I'm going to mix that in, refrigerate it, chill it down. And that can be my sweet treat. And I'll probably drizzle mine with just a little bit of graham cracker crumbs just to give it a little, you know, pie kind of feel to you. Anyway, I hope that's something that you might like and it'd be better for us. Anyway, keep it real. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. We'll see y'all.